Hmm, okay, interesting. Well, I'm assuming that I'm streaming. Uh, actually, I should check this out. This is the first time I'm using OBS, so we shall see. Let's see, I'm gonna check YouTube real quick and see if I am indeed streaming. Let's see. Oh, we are, okay, sweet, we're live. We are live. Hey, welcome to my first uh, OBS streaming. Uh, let's see. All right, and uh, yeah, thank you for, for joining me. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know how many people are, are watching live because uh, I don't think it says that here. If it does, it's not in my view. Uh, but yeah, so I wanted to uh, wanted to play around with a couple things and and try something new uh, for my drawing streams. So um, if you do catch this later on, this is again just me trying to figure this shit out. I don't know if I'm going to go a full hour or two hours or whatever, uh, but I will just start drawing. Uh, I do have the chat window pulled up, so I don't know if anybody is in the chat because uh, I didn't really promote the uh, the video. But if you uh, <clears throat> if you uh, if you do the like and share and and all that, that'd be much appreciated. Thanks, guys uh, and gals. So anyway, um, I guess today I don't really have anything to talk about because um, there's not really much going on out there uh, in the world of DC movies or movies in general or whatever that um, I really researched today because I haven't really been on Twitter all day. So that's usually where I get a lot of my uh, information as far as like what's happening, what's going on, and then occasionally go to, uh, uh, to Instagram. So uh, without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and just start drawing something. Uh, if you guys do post in the in the chat, hopefully I'll see it here. I have a chat window pulled up. Um, I don't know if that works yet or not. Um, but since if I don't have any chat, <laughs> I'll come back to this later on for next week. Uh, just leave me a comment in the uh, at the end of the video uh, on the YouTube on the YouTube's uh, in the uh, comments down below. And uh, I, I'd like to interact with you guys there. So thank you for showing up. Thank you for watching. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and start drawing. Uh, don't, don't really have anything to draw, but um, we'll, we'll figure it out. So uh, first things first, the way I approach drawings is I usually start off with the head, which is usually where most people start off with. Um, let me see. Let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. All right. So we're going to go ahead and just uh, choose B for brush. I'm using, um, as you can see up at the uh, top left, Photoshop. Um, I might be switching over to another software uh, for drawing. So here we're going to start off with this. And I'm going to try to be as, as rough as I can with, with how I'm going to do this. So uh, let's see. So the spine will kind of come curve like that. What you want, or what a lot of people want, are dynamic shots. So if you... If you sort of go like that with the spine, kind of curve it a little bit, and then you have your pelvis here. You've got your, your little shoots for your, uh, let's see, right there and right there for your legs, <clears throat> uh, for your thighs to sort of shoot from. So you just sort of you can come out from there and then maybe come down here. Uh, and then your, your waist is probably going to be right around here, and then that'll connect. So right there, you've got something going on. Uh, you've got, let's see, your pectoral, which would probably be right roughly about there, and then maybe six pack, uh, so it would start maybe there. And then you can sort of round that off. And then, let's see, it's gonna be hunched over a little bit on this side because of the body. It's gonna contort, it's kind of like a bean bag. And then this this side's going to be a little bit more stretched out, just due to uh, due to that. So far, uh, I don't see any chats. Let me let me jump. Let me open up YouTube. Actually, hold on. So maybe if you guys are chatting, I can at least see it there. Let me see YouTube. Let's see. Uh, let's see my channel and videos and live. Here we go. And chat is disabled for this live stream. Okay, it says chat is disabled. I'll have to figure out what that's about. Um, but thank you for uh, for still tuning in. Uh, again, this is a learning curve for me because I've never actually streamed on OBS before. Usually, I'm a StreamYard guy, and and that's 
typically just the easiest it's user friendly uh, so anyway so back to uh, back to drawing uh, so now I know that I cannot communicate with you guys other than other than this I appreciate it let's see all right there's the top of the uh, the pectoral right about there let's see it's gonna come around got the rib cage here and there you go and then the rib cage will be on that side as well uh, let's see and it doesn't have to be completely asymmetrical because I mean when when you push and pull your muscles they contort and expand and uh, so there you go but they kind of stay around the same spot that they should let's see there you go there's that um, for those who don't know uh, I did get to go see the uh, the Batman movie. Um, I want I I was an advocate for not seeing it because I'd sort of been you know Batmaned out. Could I have waited the forty five days uh, for myself? Sure, um, but I saw it, so you know whatever. It is what it is. Um, it wasn't a bad movie. It, it you know definitely wasn't uh, what a lot of people are calling is you know just sort of flawless or like a masterpiece. Um, but it was good. It was a good film. It was very uh, entertaining. So Matt Reeves did did a a good job directing uh, directing the movie and creating <clears throat> creating a fun world uh, for uh, for the uh, the character of Batman. So cool, good on him. Great job. It was a massive success in that. Eh, you know, films like Suicide Squad or Birds of Prey or whatever, they just, they don't really capture that or don't really expand upon this awesome world. They just sort of like, eh, it's okay. And I didn't watch um, Peacemaker series, so I can't really comment on that. Because that didn't really intrigue me. And, and then the uh, the Justice League inclusion at the end uh, didn't really excite me either. So it's like, okay, well, I didn't have to really worry about that. So... Basically, I'm just kind of still blocking out the body right here. Don't exactly know what I'm going to do with the hands or the arms yet. As I don't know even what character this is. It's just uh, currently just so far a, a male figure. And uh, then we have some more muscles that kind of come off of the, uh, off of the abs. Let's see. That's pretty skinny. So he's been, he's been eating a lot of greens, uh, and that's good. Um, like I said, there is one of the, the knees, and then you've got muscles on both sides of the knee, and then you've got muscles that kind of lay on top of the knee, and then you've got that femur, is that a femur bone? Not, not quite sure, but that bone right in front, the shin, so sorry, the shin, um, is right there and right there. You just sort of block that out a little bit and say, okay, well, there you have it. And, uh, and the cool thing about this is I can grab the uh, drawing and kind of move. No, come on. There we go. Move him up a little bit so that the body can still sort of be in the middle and I have enough room for the feet as well. So, let's see. I wouldn't ask how everybody is doing, but since this is not a typical live stream, uh, I don't have that option. Um, if you're just now tuning in, hey... Uh, even though I'm not able to interact with you guys, please uh, leave me a comment um, at the end of the stream, um, you know, or, you know, at least a like and, uh, and and support a guy for trying to do something a little bit different. Um, let's see. So let's see. Shoulders will probably be right about there. And let's see. Maybe this guy can have some sort of weapon. So there's his... Uh, Bicep, bicep back here. Let's see. Do do do. Maybe, maybe this. Hmm. I don't know. We'll just continue. We shall continue. Like I said, this is not going to be a long stream. I'm just gonna, gonna block out this guy here. Sort of. You know, there's a muscle here. There's muscles here. And then, of course, you've got your, your elbow, some extra meat right there, Come back down to the wrist. Cool. That's cool. All right. 
He's got some broad shoulders, I'll tell you that. I'm not gonna, not gonna, I'm gonna try not to erase, but this is basically just a uh, drawing, and then I'll come back and maybe draw on top of that. So there's another, another muscle there, and you've got the backside of the. Um, no, I don't like that. Gosh, I wasn't. I, I just said I wasn't gonna erase, and now I want to erase. Uh, da, 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 da. let me see. What do I want to do? So this one would probably be holding like a sword or a shield or something. And this one, or maybe this one can hold the shield, like right here. Like it can hold a shield right there. Okay, there we go. And then his arm, maybe right here. So there's that, and then sort of that would come down here. And you've got <clears throat> elbow there. And this would sort of pop over this way and lead to this arm. And of course you would have your thumb holding on to whatever that is. Bop it up it up. There you go. So he's holding a shield. And let's see. Hmm. So that's a huge chest. Maybe I should bring that in a little bit. Bring that in just a tad. There you go. That doesn't look so weird now. And then get your traps. Neck. Mm -hmm. There you go. And then the head would probably be a little bit higher. Sort of right there. There's sort of a chin. An ear here, and like an ear here. And a little bit, and there you go. Anyway, so then you've got the eyes there. Uh, there you go. There's that. Okay. All right. So that's kind of blocked out. Let's see. Oop. All right. So then we go back to here and we give, give him little calf muscles here and a calf muscle here. That comes out. A little bit over there. Bring that back. Okay. And then over here we have some more of the calf muscle coming off of there and sort of connecting to the, uh, the shin. There we go. Right. And let's see. So then this would live right about there. And then kind of come out, give them the feet. Let's see. No, I don't like that. So then you've got the ankle here. And your ankle on the other side as well. And then there's the uh there's the heel. And it's sort of Maybe that will go out a little further. There we go. Or maybe that's too far here. Let's see. So you can kind of come up a little bit. Yeah, there you go. So then we shall say, okay, that's not needed. I'll come back and erase that. Or, I mean, there's really no need to erase. I'll just draw over it. When I go and refine that. And you can be as dirty and nasty as you want with your first initial like he needs a little bit of a butt i'm sorry and glutes and then yes so you have this you have the sort of v action going on here with his with his abdomen and his little belly button would be right about there um and then you've got this sort of you know where the love handle sort of grow or kind of live and get that and so that would pop over just a little bit you want to give him a little bit more meat. There you go. And then this is fine over here. Because yeah, he was looking a little a little weak. Like let's see. But that is a long torso though. It's a very long torso. One thing that you can do, and again, since this is the, the blocking stage. There we go. Lasso. I'll just go. And I'll say, let me grab this. 
open it and grab that. You have something that you've drawn. Bring it up a little bit. I would say that probably looks a little bit more, a little bit more better, more better. Um, that foot's probably too big. I can probably reduce the size on that. Let me see. Go back to this. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Usually, I don't want to have to go and just deselect stuff. So there you go. And then this little ankle's there, and then of course the uh, the. Top of the foot's here, the back of the foot's behind it. So there's your base, just right here. Same thing, there's your base. That's coming off. You've got this. And then and that's going to come up. That's going to go back. And you're going to have a little bit of a foot there. So they're kind of faced in this direction here. Yeah, let's see. There we go. And then that's pretty good. That'll come out. And then you've got that muscle here. Let's see. And then that probably comes over here like this. And then there's that muscle. And so you don't really need to worry so much about like accurate anatomy, with especially with comic book characters. Like, not that it's frowned upon, but you just kind of need a basic idea of where things are uh and then like you can kind of make things up as you go just to make sure that you know like the drawing itself kind of flows like if you think about like maybe the hulk or you know some some big you know character or whatever like that like dude anatomy goes out the window he just Everything's elongated, like Bane. Like everything's, it's like there's no way that a skeletal structure can can bend, warp, and and then hold that mass um, in any way, shape, or form. It look, it would look kind of ridiculous. They wouldn't look as cool as they do in the comic books. I'll tell you that. Uh, so I don't like that. I don't like the way the head is sort of going down, unless there's like you know, you know, things hitting it. And you're like, oh my god. Um, but again, just kind of looks like he's, he's sort of bored and falling asleep. So what we can do is rotate it and say, okay, does it look better? Yeah, it looks a little bit better. And then we'll just go like that, go back to brush and we're still good to go. Everything's still good. Let's see. So we have this one here. Fists are okay. Fists are easy. I could probably do another fist here, but let's not do a fist. Let's instead go with, okay, here's my, here's the top of my hand. The thumb is going to kind of come back over here. So we'll go like that. So we'll just, we'll just do some digits and you want to sort of fan it out and say, okay, well, there it is. That's look, he, he has mittens on. That's, that's fantastic. Um, doesn't matter. So here we go. And do it the top of the thumb, give them a little bit of a thumb there. Uh, let's see, so you kind of come up, bring it back down. The middle finger is always longer than the others, usually, and usually the uh, the ring finger is shorter than the than the pointer, and then the pinky, of course, is going to be your smallest. Uh, and then, of course, you know you have your knuckles, not to be confused with Sonic knuckles anyway so there you go so there's that there's the top of the hand not really doing much he's just kind of just kind of sitting on his sitting on his hip not really but just kind of there i might change that this this is kind of boring i thought i was going to have him hold a sword uh and maybe i still can actually i probably still can so what you can do here is uh there's a little button on a little feature on here called control z and you can just go back. You don't have to erase, especially since I overlap on the thumb. But you can only do that for so far. Oh, damn, that's right. You can only go back so far. Redo, brush, to undo. I can't do anymore. Okay. So I'm going to have to do some, some editing. So unfortunately, like I did not want to do, I'm going to erase. So there you go. Done. That's out of there. Got away with not erasing for most of it. That's fine. Um, 
It's going to have him hold a sword. But if I did that and it was in this configuration, then the sword would just go into the shield. Uh, so let's erase the forearm as well. And we're going to kind of place that in just a different configuration. So, and instead of doing that, I can just increase the size of my, uh, there we go. I'll just erase that so you can see more of the glutes. All right, let's go back to brush there. All right. That's fantastic. That works. So, uh, right there. So this will kind of come out and back around and then this will sort of do the same thing. Uh, but it'll sort of, sort of arc a little bit. You never, you never want to draw a hand or a forearm where it's just like, okay, it's, you know, straight, you know, everything is always, it's got a little bit of a curve to it. So you sort of grab that, come back around like this. And, and to me, that that looks a hell of a lot better than a straight up and down. Uh, so anyway, got the big eraser brush. I'm erasing, but, you know, this is cool. So anyway, so there that is. I'm going to hold that. Uh, and then, let me see. Whatever he's holding. There we go. And again, that's the top of the, um, the palm here on that side. Uh, you've got your... You know, your knuckles, that'll be right there. And then you've got this, like, oops, didn't need to do that. Get that around. And then you've got, of course, your, your thumb, which you need to sort of kind of, kind of make it come back a little bit uh, so that uh, you can give some volume into whatever it is uh, that this character's holding. So right there, fantastic. Let me see. And... Um, and yeah, so you can continue on with uh, with the hands and your. So he's not holding a sword. He's he's holding some sort of, you know, uh, noom chuck. We'll give him a noom chuck. There you go. So he's a. Uh, and then of course you would you would want to connect that with something. But anyway, so uh, I'm not going to keep this drawing. This is just something fun. And I I just want to do a drawing stream that sort of. Uh, with a little loosey goosey. Uh, so anyway, the next thing that I would do, uh, I create a new layer, and then what I would do with this is uh, Control U, which in in some other softwares you can you can just sort of it goes automatically to uh to like a blue color. Uh, but what I do here is I change it to the blue, like right about there, and then I lower the opacity a little bit. You can barely see it; very white. Uh, so it matches the paper a little bit, but you can still see <clears throat> that there is an image underneath. Then I go to number three and I start blocking it in again uh, a little bit better. So I'm over here, I'm doing this and I'll add maybe some more. And I don't have to worry about even this being the final product. I'm just say, hey, okay, yeah, here. So this is what I was doing. This ear was over here on this side. This ear was sort of on that side. Um, don't know exactly what I'm going to do with the hair, but, you know, maybe... Maybe the hair sort of exists here. It's cool, whatever, you know, pop it up, done. Um, there, hair is is in place. I uh, got some, uh, his placement for his eyes. Uh, so what I can do is I can zoom in and just play with the face a little bit. Still, as you can see, not, no, none of these, none of these uh, really connect with each other. Doesn't matter, there you go. A little bit of the ear there. Uh, there you go. And a little bit on this side, I can kind of come out and play with it. Okay, there you go. Maybe even add some some shading here, just for fun. Again, you can do whatever you want. It's your drawing. Uh, here are the eyes. So if this is the nose, I typically will say, okay, I'll grab I'll, I'll grab the brow first, and then I'll sort of try to find where my eyes should be. So like right here, and then like maybe right here. And then the back of the eye, and again, same thing, the back of the eye. And then there's that. And you've got the ridge, and then so yeah, so you, you just kind of block in where you want your, your eyebrows to go. And they can be however you want them, doesn't matter.
let's see. And you can always go back and change them again. Like this is not final configuration, final setup or whatever. That's the only good thing about like drawing digitally is that you can, you can go back and do whatever. It doesn't matter. So then the nose right here, you can kind of make it kind of come out a little bit. And then, you know, use your, let your imagination sort of decide where you want the nostril to be. Nope, boop. I'll just delete that. Um, let's see. Because this is the mouth. If this is the mouth, then this is sort of the top of the nose. So, and he's sort of slightly, sort of a three quarter perspective. You just sort of like take that and say, this is kind of where I wanted my nose to be. And maybe a little divot there. Uh, we don't have to worry about where the sun is at this point in time. But you know what? I'm going to take my eraser. You can play with it. Because the thing is with like faces, this is this is where everyone looks first. They look at, at the, uh, the face of the figure. Because that's the triangle here. And I'll erase it. But this is where... <clears throat> that's the focus of everybody. When you're talking to somebody, this is where you're looking. You're looking right there at that triangle. So, um, let's see, there we go, sort of a, let's give him more of a refined chin, okay, and then, let's see, some lips, you got that little, little divot right there, uh, you can even add the little, I don't even know what that's called, anyway, you can add that, and then you can, of course, Kind of come over here and say, okay, well, there's there's that cheek, and then there's that cheek. Uh, that's okay. You can do whatever. And then, you know, hey, look, he's got eyeballs. So, got that. Got that. He's looking off over here. He's like, well, what are you doing? Let's see. So, he got that. There we go. Uh, and there's just a little bit of definition here, and you can probably... Probably make that a little bit darker and kind of protrude that a little bit. And same thing over here. You just kind of give the underneath the eyes a little, a little bit darker, make it a little bit more intense. Uh, let's see. Let's see. There we go. So we're going to refine that a little bit. It kind of comes out a little. Uh, there we go. You can probably erase that a little bit, make that a little tighter. Let's see there you go that looks good that looks good and then come back and again none, nothing that i'm doing here <clears throat> is set in stone i can always make changes i can always change this this up to whatever there we go and just sort of try to you know make sure your ear lobes are on the same kind of the same area you know where they stop at <clears throat> same thing the other nostril okay uh you can give it a little bit because maybe the light is coming from this side and maybe, you know, the the, uh, uh, the shadows are going to be on this side of the face. And if the shadows are on this side of the face, that means that this side of the face would be a little bit darker. And then that would be a little darker in there. So, fine. So anyway, so that's that's kind of how you would go about that. And again, the face... It doesn't matter anything about the rest of the body. The face is the first thing that people look at in a, in a drawing, no matter, well, not, not no matter what, you know, obviously, but I, um, usually the face is, is the focal point. That's where you're looking. That's where you want. Uh, and, and also what you also want to do, um, and I don't know how many people are actually, uh, artists out there that watch, you know, my streams. I know I have a lot of people who like the Snyder Cut and all that, and I appreciate everybody who watches. Um, but I don't know if you guys draw. So, uh, and if you do, or if you don't, or if you feel like, oh, you know what, I've I've zero talent, man. You can you can always, if you can draw shapes, you know, if you can draw a you know triangle or a circle or a square, you know, and you're that good. <laughs> you can you can do what I do. That's no problem. Anybody can can do this. So then that's probably there. Let's see. And then you want to sort of lock that in. 
and kind of there is your what do you call that clavicle that's the clavicle and you don't need to know the name of, of these uh these muscle groups or anything like that not required not required helpful uh, especially when you're talking to other artists and you're trying to convey something or whatever to them then it's it's required or needed but not not necessarily it's not uh it's not frowned upon like oh man you don't know you don't know that this is called the uh the clavicle there's there's problems with that yeah um so anyway i would probably start the abs there then anyway um and then of course they would wrap around like that again uh because he is <clears throat> he's hunched over on this side a lot of the uh the muscle groups in the and the fat uh his fat gonna be sort of bunched up on that side it's gonna be like okay there's like maybe a little divot here and, and that so anyway so there's that ab there's that one there's that there's that and that one and then that one would probably come around here like this so there you go um, but yeah, man, you know, if, if you guys are aspiring artists and y'all want to do something like that or whatever, or if you feel compelled after watching these movies, these, uh, these superhero movies, then, you know, hey, man, you know, give it a try and kind of see what you're made of. Let's see. Okay, that's that, that's that. I'm going to bring that out a little bit. And there you go. You've got, you see... Come down a little bit. And that'll be up a little. So we'll remove that. There we go. That looks nice. Another thing you can do that I'll show you guys uh, is um, I will probably do both of those. Um, go through and how you can refine it, especially in digital, is uh, go to edit and then go to transform and then flip horizontal. Now, when you flip horizontal, you're going to look at it and be like, oh, wow, a lot of things kind of pop out at you because you're not used to looking at your drawing from this angle. You're look you're used to looking at it the way you, you know, picked up the pencil and started drawing. So I can see that my the eye on this side, which you can't tell. Um boop. The eye on this side uh needs to be enlarged a little bit and maybe moved over to the uh, to the right. So what I'll do is I'll zoom in. And you can do one of two things. It does need to be enlarged, but and so we'll, We'll say this is the first thing you can do, and I'll show you the second. First thing that you can do is grab it and just increase the size that way. And be like, okay, done. Got it. And then go back, you know, zoom out. And it looks better already. It looks more aligned. It looks a lot, you know, it looks bigger, so it looks sort of balanced. Uh, and that's kind of what you want to do. It might need to be a little bit more enlarged, but you know, hey, that was just for that specific purpose. Uh, the other thing that you can do, of course, is uh, where are you? Come on. Oh, aha, oh, uh -huh, because of that. Okay. So uh, you can erase it. You can erase it, and you're done with that one. And then you can say, okay, well, now what I'll do, I'll take this and I'll enlarge it okay okay and then that okay okay let me just let me pick out that line. The bottom line, not really thrilled with that. So here we go. And then so he's kind of looking that way. Okay, same thing here. Looking that way. There you go. And uh, he looks a little bit better. Ew. that way so that's the two ways that you can kind of look at it and say oh, okay oh there's there's something going on it's not really matching up well or whatever and then when you have when you've done that <clears throat> you can always unless you like what you've done uh you can always go back 
Uh, where is it? Transform. And uh, flip horizontal again. Continue. Uh, and it could be that when you flip it back, you're like, oh, crap. I noticed something else because I wasn't, you know, was looking at the other way. Uh, so here. Hmm. Let me see. Zoom. And I see that the eyebrows are a little bit different. Once they can be, that's fine. Let's see. Here's that. Uh, let's see. That comes up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. And then maybe since it's on that side, oops, maybe since it's on that side, it'll dip down a little bit further. Anyway, so there's that. So there he is so far. Um, and, and so, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'll fix the neck here. That doesn't look very nice. Uh, and his neck would probably be, probably come right, right here. And there. And... Again, you know, you don't have to be exact with anything that you're doing. You know, you just like, okay, yeah, this goes here, this goes there. Uh, and it could be that a lot of this stuff, when you go through and you're re ready to shade it, that it'll change. You know, these things will change. You don't have to connect all your muscles together. Uh, you can be very loose, very fast and loose with it. Done. Um, same thing for over here. You've got this, and this will come back over here like that and sort of lay on top of that muscle. Everything's sort of, you know, sort of, you know, synergy. And what you want to have is you want to have this thing sort of look like it's, it could move right off the page. And then that will definitely, you know, translate to your, to your viewers, to your audience. Let me see. No, I don't like that. Let's see. I don't like that either. Let me go back. Okay. So then there's that. And it kind of comes down and curves around. I actually liked what I did better this way. Okay, so we're going to erase that right there. I don't like that. And, you know, oops. I keep hitting, I, hit, I keep hitting the top of the pen right here. So it just keeps popping up that, that brush menu. Which is annoying. I wish I could not do that. There. Okay, and then of course, you know, you're right there. There. So that's where your sleeve would be if he has a sleeve. Uh, hands. So here we go. So this one is sort of in this configuration. What you can always do is you can always sort of model your hand as well and say, okay, so so this is the top of the back of the thumb and then the other part of the thumb would kind of come down. And there, there. Boom, done. So then you've got this hand, and of course, don't forget the knuckle, or this, no, I'm sorry, this hand, this finger. Uh, and then that would kind of come up. And then you would have this one and then that, and then also make sure that you round, like you never want to have your your fingers, like here's your here's a knuckle, here's a knuckle, here's a knuckle, here's a knuckle, and it's and it's straight. You want it to sort of be like okay, here's a knuckle, here's a knuckle, all right, here's a knuckle, and then the final one. You sort of want it again to curve. Everything on your body curves, and if you don't have that natural curve, then it's it's gonna come off and not look right something's going to be off about it oops something's going to be off about it and it's going to be uh noticeable to you eventually hopefully uh but then also noticeable to your audience um here let me increase that and get that out of here so um but there you go and this i don't even know how long i've been streaming for but i appreciate you guys watching i have no idea Anyway, and if you wanted to be like uh, like Kilmer, you like Batman, you can just add a little nipples right there. And atomically correct. Uh, okay, so you've got this. Uh, there is a little bit of a deep here. And then you've got that other muscle. Oops. It kind of comes out. The other thing I liked about StreamYard is I could tell how long I've been streaming for because I don't want to want to go on too long and just you know lose 
lose you guys, lose interest or anything like that. Oh, no. Anyway, so there's part of the wrist there, but then it also comes out and it complements the back. So they sort of come to this point right here um, because it's, you know, this is um, sort of foreshortening so that, you know, here's the, the wrist. It's kind of coming off, but you're sort of like holding it out. So because you're holding it out, there's a little bit of a curve here and a little bit of a curve on the other side as well. So it's kind of like, whoop. That looks right. Uh, again, same thing here. There's your, there you go. And then there's a little bit of skin that comes off right here uh, where your uh, pinky is. And go. Okay. And then this shows, they're going to sort of round off there. There you go. And then he's probably going to be holding some sort of strap that's like right there. It's going to come off here. Gonna pop up there and it's going to go into his hand. And he's just holding on to that. And this could be a little further out too, I guess. If that's, if that's here, then that's probably going to be here. Okay. And then at that, a bit of a top there. Top there. So there you go, and he's holding on to whatever that is. So good on him. Good on him. The thumb. There. Okay, that comes up. There you go. And that looks pretty good, in my opinion. Uh, so then you have that. Um, let's see. So, yeah, so there's that. And then we can move down to his buttocks. And just make that kind of tuck in. There's a little bit of a booty there. Uh, then the, uh, the, the leg would come in front of the butt, which is behind you, and that the butt would sort of be back here, and then again, it would be right there. So, you just have to imagine it sort of in 3D. When you're drawing, you have to say, okay, well, if I put this here, then where does this have to live? Because everything has to go somewhere. Let's see, so you got that. And then there's that muscle. And then, there's that one, and oops, no, that's too right there. Okay, there's that, and then there's this, this big muscle right here. Um, not much going on there. You be, that's usually why they put belts there. <laughs> uh, there you go, so there, that'll pop there. And then, let me see. Okay, so then, oops, no, that's too long, too long, don't like that. So we're going to pop it there and then come back. Mm, does that look? No, that looks weird. Really, it should be sort of... Actually, hold on. Let me play with this one a little bit. I know this is right. And that would come back. Okay. And then you've got the top of the top of the knee there. And then damn no, that doesn't look nice at all. Okay. Let's see. And of course this will come off of there. There. And then that'll come there. A bit. Hold on. Hmm. Now one second. This is fine. That's that's right. That's right. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Let me rotate this bad boy here. Hold on. So be brush. Okay. So you got this. It's gonna come down. 
Let's see, and then you've got this. It's going to be there. And that there. And then there's like a little bit of a, a cartilage there. And that comes up. Okay. There we go. And there's your groin. Okay. Let me see. Let me zoom back. All right. That looks better. It, I, need, I do need some more definition here for like this little crease here let's see and then that sort of comes down a little bit just sort of pops up a little bit so let me just erase that a little okay and then there's that and then that sort of pops out there let's see There we go. Okay. Um, anyway, he would be wearing some sort of pants. So there you go. So you can always check your stuff by taking that off and saying, okay, well, I don't have a lot of definition here. Because usually you have belts and utility belts and stuff like that when you're drawing this. Um, you would normally, like the stomach, you would have that. And then this, again, same thing. This, this right here is sort of squashed. This is not as squashed, but, you know, there you go. And then that sort of, sort of connects that or, or gives some volume to that area. And then usually there's a, there's a muscle here. It kind of comes off and that, that goes that way. And then you can just. Well, that looks weird. I don't like that at all. Okay. Let me see. So that kind of comes down. Okay. And then you have that. Let's see. I feel like that would be the inside. Hold on. So I have the. I have that rotated. go there's that there and then that would sort of tuck under there so there you go that one that's drawn uh, this kind of comes out a little bit well, but needed to sort of pop out and then he's holding it here holding it there hold on Okay, so that is wrapped around this. And then that comes over here. Okay. And then... Hmm. That doesn't look right. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. And this would be here. And then there. Yeah. Let's see. So. All right. So, like I said, you can usually look at yourself for reference. And say, okay, that looks about right. So, that's closer to what I want. Again, um, 
you know, I'll probably come back and, and look at that again. Anyway, so continuing down, 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 you sort of have this muscle here that's uh, really doing work because he's putting a lot of, of strain on this right here. So there you go. So I don't need this line here. There you go. And then but I will still need something underneath there to show that there is a muscle there that's protruding. And then again, the same thing here. And there's the top of it, top of the foot. Let's see. And then so I'll probably grab that. Let's see. That looks a little bit better, being right there, and then your, your ankle can be here. Okay, that looks a little bit better there. Same thing with this one here. You've got your ankle, but then you've also got, you know, muscles on both sides. And that's sort of there. I'm going to live in there. Got this part of the leg is wrapping around. And then, of course, you know, there's your shin. I want to forget that. Uh, the top of the uh, the shoe, and then, of course, you know, the back of his shoe with your with your heel, and that would come. Let me move this down a little bit. There you go. Oops, like that. I would have a curve around like that and then come up here and then of course there's part of it for the shoe foot go there okay so boom done with that so then um not gonna draw the the shield and the um uh, and the uh, the noom chucks, uh, but basically you can you can see that that's kind of how you just set it up. Now I'm looking at it here. I can see that maybe the head is a little bit too small. Um, so what I can do again, same trick is I can let's see, I can lasso it, and then I can enlarge it. And I can say, okay, that's a little too big. I didn't need to go up that big, but there. What about there? Uh, that, let me see. Was that a difference? It was a little bit of a difference. Uh, let's, let's enlarge it a little bit. more. Didn't really need to be that large. Maybe this leg is it needs to be a little a uh, little bit shortened. So again, they'll say, okay, cool. And then I'll grab my lasso tool and say, okay, well then then this is the issue. And I can say, all right, uh, let me shrink that in a little bit. So like maybe right there. And that looks better. So then <clears throat> all I would need to do or not all I would need to do, but what I would want to do is go here. Is this not, hold on. I was not on brush. Okay. So maybe the buttocks is a little bit bigger, but there you go. You know, there you have it. There you go. There's his butt. Uh, so anyway, so there you go. There you have that. Uh, we started off with something and ending up on something else. So uh, it works for me. Um, I think I'm going to end it here, guys. Um, if you have any questions, uh, if you have any comments, please leave them in the, uh, in the comments section at the end of the video. I appreciate you guys watching. Please share this video, like it, uh, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, and I'll have a lot more that I can share once we have another project out of the way. But, uh, for right now, um, I'm just going to keep doing this and I'll refine this a little bit more so I can interact with you guys. Uh, but you guys have a great, fantastic evening, and um, have a good night. I, and again, on this, I don't have an end 
credits or anything like that. I'm just going to end it right now. And uh, thanks for watching.